In 2017 R2, there are significant enhancements to the toolpath creation dialogues, machining toolpaths, and we also see the introduction of a new robot integration. In the rough or finish toolpath and in cut shape in the stone module, there's a new option to reverse cut direction. This means we can apply two different direction operations to one geometry, so no more need to create two separate geometries with two different directions on two separate user layers. This is useful if you're using a clockwise rotation cutter and a counterclockwise cutter for the roughing and finishing cuts. In sawing, there's collision avoidance for avoiding neighbouring parts in a nest. This has been improved with some extra options for controlling what is avoided and not avoided. These are two examples of situation when you might not want to avoid collisions with adjacent toolpaths. We don't want these toolpaths to stop short of intersecting each other. The rebate saw cut needs to run through and the angled saw cuts also need to run all the way through at the corners. If I edit the operation, you'll see there are three new options. Avoid all in operation, avoid none, and avoid selected. If I select none, the toolpath completes and follows all the way through. Now the same with the angled cuts. AlphaCam's new 3D white planes creator gives a dynamic preview of the selected tool and the ability to interactively select directly from the drawing. Run the white planes creator and you'll see that in addition to entering values manually for the origin's x, y, z coordinates, you can also select directly from the points on the drawing using snaps. It's useful to be able to preview the tool's position and orientation when creating a work plane, so you can see the values you need to enter, or when working on an irregular shaped 3D model, it's more practical to select the work plane origin and angle visually. You can also name your work plane and give it an offset number if needed. AlphaCam have a new robot integration add-on. The settings button allows you to set your working units and select the robot you want to use. When you press the launch robot integration button, you'll be prompted to save your robot project and your drawing is then opened in the robot application. Toolpaths are automatically checked on import to verify the paths are all reachable and within the extents of the machine. The AlphaCam tools are also sent and represented graphically. If the robot can't reach all the areas of the part, the user is notified and the graphical preview of the head tells us where the problem lies so the part can be easily moved within reach. The robot integration has all the tools you need for controlling a robot, including collision checking, settings for avoiding singularity, selecting different machining positions and setups, teaching additional movements, exporting simulations, and post-processing.
There's also an extensive library of robots and fixtures.